This video is made available by the Allegheny College Computer Science Department under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial No Derivative Works Version 3.0 license. You want to excuse me in this video as I'm currently losing my voice. Now you may recall that we were looking at a monkey class in class where we were we were doing some unit testing. What I want to talk about is how we can make methods more testable. And we do that by breaking them apart into smaller pieces. So first of all though, this is not a good equals method. I want you to go back to the previous work we did with equals methods and look at good ones. Now in this video we're going to pull apart this code and simplify it by by pulling out some parts that we could we could call hmm, reusable. If nothing else, the equals method is going to become smaller. So let's start with this line. It may not seem immediately obvious what it does, so let's pull it out and turn it into its own method. We're going to say, make it a method that takes two objects, and it's going to ask if they are the same class. So we can then pull that code out. I'll copy it up here. If object one, get class is equal to object to get class. And I forgot some parentheses on the method call. Does it compile? Yes. We can now replace this expression, which may look a little confusing, with a single method call, passing it this object and the object that came in from elsewhere. Compile. Rerun our tests. Oops, I have to recompile everything, as you can see. Now run our tests again. And I still pass 10 of 10. So, what that's done is it now makes it possible for me to test this method separately to make sure that it behaves the way we expect. Before, our tests were for the equals method overall, but I can now write more tests for that smaller method. And I've got some kind of weird thing going on here. Uh, create test method. I'm going to say it's for the is same class method. Uh, oh, I'm confused. I'm so very confused. Uh, what am I doing? Delete that, recompile, end recording, uh, cancel recording. What's going on? Run all this. Ah, uh, cancel recording. All right, let's try this again. Let's create a test method called is same class. I'm going to create a new monkey, and then I'm going to create a new budgie. Remember, budgies are parakeets. I'm going to ask, are they the same class? Are those two objects from the same class? So I'll give it a monkey and a budgie. And the answer should be false. Sure enough, that is false. So let's assert that that should be equal to false. And I can end recording. Run tests. And I pass 11 of 11. I now have a new test. So I can create one more for the is same class method. Well, first I can say, oh, yeah, it works by itself. So let's create a new test. Call it is same class 2. I'm going to create a new monkey. And a new monkey. I'll give it a different name. Herbert, and he has eight bananas. Now, are, do they have the same? Are they both monkeys? Are they both monkey class? Let's find out. The answer should be true, and it is true. We want to assert that two monkeys, and sure enough, we now have 12 passing tests, two of which are for the is same class method. So what we've done is we've simplified our equals method by breaking out functionality into a new method that can be tested independently. And in general, we'll call that refactoring, breaking this into smaller pieces of code that can be tested independently. 